Oh, you don't want to miss today's program. We're going to get into a relevant word from the Lord. You are going to experience God's presence through anointed worship. We are going to take Holy Communion. And then on today's Move Your Mountain, we are going to bring your request to the altar of the Lord to believe for your miracle. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to Welcome everyone to Move Your Mountain. We are blessed and honored that you have taken time out to join us today. We always love to start our time together in worship because that welcomes and invites the presence of the Lord. Pastor Myra Bell was leading us. I'm Pastor Gary here with Pastor Rebecca Luker. And Pastor Jay is in the house. <laughs> Good to be with y'all. Yes, yes, ready to move yes. some mountains and have a great time today yes. and just feel the presence of the Lord already, just ready to do some awesome things in the house. Well, you know, God is up to something. Yes, he is. I don't know if you heard or not, but Bob Jones, before he went home to be with the Lord, he had a prophetic word, believe it or not, that said when the Kansas City Chiefs would win the Super Bowl, revival would break out in America. Mm. And of course, in Asbury University, ever since it's been now over a week or plus some days, they were having their Wednesday chapel. And after the chapel was over, about 30 students stayed around to pray wow. and the Holy Ghost showed up and they've been in service 24 hours a day, seven days a week ever since wow. then. Amen. And that is a miracle in itself that they were allowed to stay in the chapel after their chapel service. Because I know when I went to Evangel University, we had a certain time frame where we were in chapel and then we had to be out of there. So there must have been a real moving of the Holy Spirit for those students to say, it doesn't matter what my schedule is. 
I'm going to just stay here in God's presence. And that's where we need to be. It doesn't matter what our schedule is because that's when God's going to show up. That's when he's going to move. When we just lay aside every other thing that we have had planned and say, God, we want you to move in our lives. And I am excited, Pastor Gary, about these revivals breaking out. And I can't wait to see what happens next because there's something more that's going to happen. And then it, it, then it started to break out in, in Lee that's University good. And then in Cedarsville, it's coming east, brother. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sign me up. You yeah. know, I remember there was a song that they sang back. They said, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. So I want to encourage you to get your expectation up and your anticipation up. Because, you know, regardless of what's going on in the world, we can't forget, Pastor Gary, God still has his hand on the wheel. Right. His foot is on the pedal. He's in control. That's right. And he's going to do some awesome things in this season. That's right. That's right. We know that in the last days, he's going to pour out his Holy Spirit on all flesh. And so, you know what, that's really, that's what this program is all about. We just want to give place, make room for the Holy yes. Spirit to be able to minister to you. We want to remind you we have a prayer line that's available. If there's anything that is on your heart that we are either going to be discussing today or just anything you need prayer for, call that number 888-665-4483 and then we are going to take Holy Communion together. So make sure you get your elements, get a cracker, a piece of bread, some juice in a cup because that is such a special time when we gather for communion. Amen, it is because it brings our focus back to what really truly matters in our life and that is Jesus and his sacrifice for us and that one day soon we're going to be reunited with him again. And so it's a time for us where we can agree with you where we can join together as a family and partake in this communion together. So please make sure you get your elements so that you can do this with us. It's going to be a special time. It really is. We're going to invite Pastor Myra to come over and join us on the couch. We always like to get into the word because God confirms his word with signs and wonders and miracles. In Mark chapter 8, starting there in verse 22, it says, Then he, Jesus, he came to Bethsaida, and they brought a blind man to him, and he begged him to touch him. So he took the blind man by the hand, and he led him out of the town. Pastor Jay, I think this is so interesting. So often when Jesus was in a crowd, he was making sure that the people that surrounded him were like believers. Remember there was the time he went to the, to the daughter, the, the, the father's house's daughter to pray for. And the Bible says that there were literally professional mourners yes. in the house. Right. And he... Ek boloed them. Yeah. He put them all out. Yes, there were times he just wanted Peter, James, and John, his yeah. inner circle with him. And this first point is you sometimes you got to separate yourself from the skeptics. Yeah. We know it shows, Pastor Gary, that how important it is who you're connected to yeah. determines how you multiply and how God bless you. Some of you right now may be going through a time where God is removing relationships out of your mm -hmm. life. And it doesn't always mean that there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. They just may not have the horsepower to get you to where you need to be. <laughs> so sometimes you got to let God move yeah. some pieces in and out That's of your right. life. Don't be That's discouraged right. because people move out. Yeah. Sometimes people have to go. True. But remember this, God's only moving them out because he's about to reconnect you to the right people for the miracle that he has in store for you. Oh. Whether they're skeptics, whether it's just people that just can't go. Right. But regardless what it is, whenever right. you're going to another level, he will always change your relationships. Right. So the fact that God was removing him away from those people was proof that his miracle was on the horizon. Yeah. That's so yeah. good. Yeah. As you were talking, Pastor G, I was thinking about how Jesus went to Gethsemane and he started out with the 11 <laughs> and then he moved further. That's yeah. right. Only with the three. And then it said a stone's throw away, just that far. He went by himself. Sometimes yeah, yeah. God is moving those people yeah, out yeah. so that you can spend more time with him mm. so that he can talk to you about what he wants to do with you. Come on. It, and, and we have to be okay with God telling us 
what it is he wants to do. Sometimes we have some things in mind we want to do, right. Right. but how God knows what's best. He knows how best to qualify us. And if he calls you to do it, he's going to qualify you to do it. Separate from the skeptic. Amen. Amen. And you know, I think of how many people maybe are in a dead church or God's yeah. calling them out, but th because they're they're attached. They don't want to give up certain Come relationships on. and friendships. Mm -hmm. They stay in a wow. place yeah. that God is really calling them to come higher yeah. and in a better place. Yeah, and that's yeah. something that if you're watching, you really need to be listening to the Holy Spirit and what he's speaking to you because my dad always says, if you're not going to grow here, then go somewhere where you can grow there because it, it does not pay to stay in a church where you feel like you're just dead. You know, in this scripture verse, Jesus took the man by the hand and took him out of where all the crowd yeah. was. Yeah. And you may be in a situation where you're feeling like, God, I don't know why I have to go, but Jesus is with you. Just like he was with this man leading him by the hand, Jesus is with you as you are being removed from those who are normally around you, who you might have had for friends for years. They might have just been friends for weeks, but you think they're good relationships. But there's a reason why Jesus is taking you and removing you from your relationships. Yeah. There's a saying that was said a while back that you show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Mm -hmm. And it's that way in the, in the body of Christ too. If you're around people, that are negative all the time. Pastor Jay, I want to tell you, your brothers are some of the most encouraging young men to be around. Anytime I'm around Kirk and Kellen, they are always encouragers. They're always on an upbeat. Those are the kind of people you need to be around. You want to be around people that are getting blessed of God, people that are encouragers. If you're around somebody who is always depressed and always yeah. downtrodden, that's going to bring you down. And that's not where God has you. Now, yes, you can encourage those people and hopefully you do, you attempt to, but you need to be surrounded by people who have their eyes fixed on the father, who have their eyes fixed on the problem solver, not on the problem. And that is what what Jesus was doing in this situation. He was saying, I'm going to take you out of that crowd of skeptics, that crowd of doubters, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put you in a place where you can receive the healing yeah. that you need. Take oh. that word with you yeah. today. Yeah. 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 Faith yeah. is contagious and so is negativity. That's right. It sure is. Yeah. And I like what you said about how Jesus led them out. Offense won't lead you out. That's God right. never uses offense. You'll never see blessed are those who are offended for they shall be promoted. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. going to see those that are offended are trapped by the enemy. Come on. Jesus Jesus is leading many of you right now. And I've even been sensing a word lately that God has been showing me that he's even going to bring back old relationships mm. back into your life with new significance. You see. There were some connections that you had even in the past that That's you just good. briefly were introduced to them. That's but good. then you moved on. You said, hey, we're going to contact. We're going to go out uh -huh. for lunch. And it never happened. Come on. God said, I made the connection then just like it was with John the Baptist wow. and Jesus when they were in their mother's womb. Their babies left. They met again in the Jordan. And then he said, well, I remember this guy. Wait. <laughs> back years ago, 30 years ago, I remember him in the water. They yeah. met again in the water, and I'm telling you right now, prophetically declaring that God's about to reconnect you with people and relationships right. that were from the past mm. that he preordained for you to get to your next level. Your miracle is happening right now. Oh God is God. moving you into position because he's ready to bless you exponentially greater than you could have ever imagined Hallelujah. or think. That's Amen. good. That's that good. Is. Let's go on in Mark chapter 8. The second part of verse 23 says, And when he had spit on his eyes and he put his hands on him, he asked him if he saw anything. And he looked up and he said, I see men like trees walking. Mm. Now, how many times have people been told by a, a pastor or a church leader, you don't have enough faith? Mm. You lack the faith. Listen, even Jesus had to pray twice. Mm -hmm. He prayed the first time and the man did not receive his full sight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see here, Jesus had to pray again. And Pastor Maya, if Jesus had to pray again, Come maybe on. sometimes yeah. you yeah. got to call the prayer line more than yeah. once. Come you got to go Come down on. to the altar more than That's once. Right. Yeah. You got to reach out more than once. Come it's on. not always a lack of faith. Sometimes it is just persistence yeah. and perseverance. That's, That's right. That's right. Even Jesus said, uh, or, or uh, he, he told his disciples, listen, it was because of this woman's our importunity. Yeah. She had yeah. to go back to that in the, in the parable. She had to go back to that unjust judge. And he said, listen, I'm going to do it. 
because she's going to trouble me half to death. <laughs> because you go back to God, you have the ability and the right to go back to God. Lord, you said thus and so, and I believe what you That's said. Right. I often think about uh, the psalmist said, you have caused me to hope in your word. Amen. When you hope in God's word, God will do it. God will do it. Don't be afraid to go back to him just because today it didn't happen. Yeah. Go back again right. and again. Right. And, and, and not that you're troubling God. That's right. Come but on. go back again. It back shows again. your faith. Give him praise for it in advance yeah. because you know he's going to do what he said. Yes, Amen. yes. That's mm. right. You know, I think about the fact that if it's, if it's that important for you to pray once, if that miracle mm. that you're needing, if that healing that you're needing was so important for you to ask God the first time, then it should be just as important to keep going back and praying yeah. and praying. There's an old acronym, pray until something happens. P-U-S-H, push. Keep praying until you see the result. Mm -hmm. that God has for you. Amen. I'm reminded of Naaman. He, he was told, go down to that muddy Jordan in 2 Kings chapter 5. Go down seven times. He could have said, no, I'm not going to do it. Right. But each time, he was like, okay, I was told I got to do this again. I got to do this again. He didn't give up. I mean, he may have wanted to like some of us. I mean, face mm -hmm. it, he was a natural man. He didn't want to do it probably, but he knew that if he wanted the outcome that God would promise him, he had to do what God told him to do. So in your life, if you're wanting the outcome that God promises you, you have to do what God tells you to do. Sometimes that means that you're going to have to keep praying and keep pushing right. through what seemingly is impossible in your life. And God will bring about that healing, that deliverance that miracle. Pastor Jay, I think sometimes we just give up just right before our miracle because we yeah. are so lazy in our prayer life. Woo. Amen. That's so true. And you know what? I'm thinking about it as well. If you have to have your prayer answered the moment you ask for it and know that it's going to be there, that's baby faith. That's right. You know, think about it. You know you have great faith when you can be denied. Yeah. When the door can be shut and something you says, okay. no, that door ain't yeah. supposed to be yeah, shut. Right. You yeah. know you have faith when you're on the verge. You're like, man, I'm <laughs> right there yes, at that point God. and the door's still shut. But I've been there all night, Lord. I fished all night. I ain't caught nothing. And God says, go again. Yeah. He told Elijah, told the servant, said, go again. Yeah, Why? Yeah, there was yeah. something in his faith that said, I already heard Holy the sound Lord. of Lord. the abundance of rain. Right. And if you will not Shoot. quit, you will see the cloud the size of a man's hand. Holy God Lord. is going to break you open, break you through. Yes take you into a greater place. You're watching right now Come because on. God says, I can't let you quit. He sent the four of us into your living room, wherever you are, yes. to say, don't you quit because if you <laughs> yeah. keep your faith going, yeah. you're going to see that mountain made yeah. a molehill. You're going to see that door open. That healing is going to come. Mm -hmm. You are right on the verge. Sometimes, yeah. Pastor Gary, people have to understand the door being shut is actually validation to your faith. When you keep on going and keep That's on right. knocking, right. believing that it shall be That's right. opened. That's that's good. That's right. Paul says in Romans 5 that tribulation works perseverance. perseverance. Sometimes it builds a character of perseverance yes. in you to just not quit, Come to on. not give up. It gives you backbone. It gives you tenacity. You have to be yes. more persistent than the devil sometimes. Yeah. Absolutely. And it, and it takes staying power, that perseverance. Mm. And how do we get it? By hanging in there That's right. during the trouble. I, I can remember saying to God, Lord, it's like the story of my life. Wait, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> I, a, a, a word was spoken to me by God, and then my pastor spoke a word to me about getting married. That was in 1976. And then in, it didn't happen until 2000, <laughs> 24 years yeah. later. Wow. But I, I would testify, I believe God is going to do yes, throughout those yes, years. Yes, yes, yes. Sometime between the word that God gives yes. and the fulfillment of his promise, that in between mm. time, sometimes we can get weary. But mm. he said, don't be weary in Come well on. doing. That's right. You, there will be a harvest yes. if you just don't faint. So don't faint. Keep on mm. praying. Come on. Amen. Come on. All right. Let's finish this up in verse 25. It says, then, here's Jesus, he put his hands on his eyes again. A second yeah. time. Yeah. Jesus yeah. had to pray twice. And then he made him look up. And he was restored 
and he saw everyone clearly. Then he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell anyone in the town. And verse for point number three is you got to get this. Total restoration is God's will for your life. He is not a halfway God. He doesn't do things part of the way. The work he began in you, he's going to finish and complete it. Hallelujah. You know, Pastor Girl, I believe that we are in a season of restoration. Can I prophesy over you for a second? I believe you are coming into a time of restoration that everything, are you ready for this? Everything that you've lost that was your fault and even things that people have done to you, God's saying, if you will not quit, as you That's put it, if you won't faint, then I will restore you. That's See, good. restoration is different than he Healing. healing, if you were sick for 30 years and you get healed, that means you got healed at that moment. Restoration means God gives you back everything you lost mm -hmm. from the past 30 years because you were sick. Who am I talking to right now? <laughs> you better get happy about this. That means everything that you've lost. That's why God said don't be bitter. Don't be angry at those that hurt you, Joseph. They threw you in the pit. Yeah. Understand, he said, I can now see clearly. Pastor Gary just read that. He said not only was he restored, he saw clearly everything that he went through, why he was in it, yeah. why he went through it. Yeah. Your clarity determines your restoration. When you can see why God put you in what you went mm -hmm. through, God is going to begin to restore you. He's going to yeah. begin to bless you. Restoration is not just the healing. It's not just getting married. It's not just opening up the job. It's Purpose. everything that Purpose. you've lost uh, while you were in the process between the time that God spoke it and the time of fulfillment. Pa Praise Pastor Rebecca. Lord. And I pray that while you're watching that you are feeling your spirit just get so excited realizing that God is speaking directly to you today. There are those that have been had dreams and visions that God has placed on your heart, mm -hmm. things that you know that he has called you mm -hmm. to, and you don't see how it's possible that it's going to happen because there have been things, like you said, Pastor Jay, that have happened in your life that yeah. have kind of taken you away from that, off that path. But I'm telling you today, Jesus, God is a restorer yes. of your life. He is a restorer of broken dreams. He is a God who will fulfill every single promise, just as Pastor Gary said, he who began a good work and you will complete it yeah, yeah, yeah. for you and yes. in you today. All you have to do is say, God, I'm willing. I'm going to keep pressing in. I'm going to keep praying. I'm not going to let that past stop me. I'm not going to let the circumstances of life stop me. I'm not going to let people and their opinions of me stop me from what I know you have prepared for me. Our eye hasn't seen it. Our ear hasn't heard what God has in store for those who yeah. love him and Come are on. called according to his purpose, Pastor Myra. Mm -hmm. And I think about as, as God does what he's doing, Listen, sometimes we can think that we have to do it. Yeah. But it's God in that restoration. God is the one who does yes, he is. what he's going to do. Yes. His purpose and his will. He will do it. And I think about that passage in Zechariah 4 and 6. It says, what he told Zerubbabel, it's not by might. Yeah. It's Come not on. by power, but it's by my spirit, Come on. says the Lord. Come on. So what God is getting ready to do, that restoration yeah. that God is going to yes. perform yes. in you, you can't make it happen. That's right. You can just get in the position. The position is humility yes. and let God exalt. He on. said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. He will exalt you mm. in due season. Listen, mm. for many of you, it's your due season. Yes, it is. <laughs> I receive it. Well, Amen. We're going to invite you to go over to the worship set Amen. and lead us in a time of worship. If you need prayer, the number is there, 888 665-4483. Remember, we're going to take communion very, very shortly. Make sure you have your elements together so you can participate and join us while Pastor Rebecca sings for us, We Need a Miracle. the same God today and the same God tomorrow help me see the victory you already see let my faith be today 
what it will be tomorrow when I've seen the victory you already see. Do you need a miracle today? 
you're in the right place. Call that number, 888-665-4483. Remember, at the conclusion of our time together, we're going to end this program at the altar, lifting up all of you that have called and written. So many have called in, and then they've called back after the Lord's answered their prayer. Myra, Myra. <laughs> You would be, you'd be, maybe you need to pray for this lady. Myra got a miracle here. Another Myra. She called in for prayer because the doctor had told her she had glaucoma in her eyes. She called the prayer partner for prayer, went back to the eye doctor. Doctor said, I can't find any glaucoma. She wow. said her eyes are healed. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. I thank God for that. Because that's a good report. And that's the same thing that happened to me when I went mm. back. He said, there will be no risk Amen. of you having it, even in later years. Come on. Yes. So I Come on. thank him. God is a miracle yes. worker, and he's yes. going to work a miracle for you. Yes, Amen. and then Shirley called. She was having tremendous pain in her feet after calling the prayer partner. All the pain left, she said, and she's praising Jesus. Amen. I thank God with you for this miracle in your life. And we believe that as you gave your testimony, someone else out there that is having the same kind of issues or maybe even different issues are getting encouraged. So thank you for calling in. And we just pray that God continues to bring that healing and deliverance in your life. Amen. And then Amanda called and uh, she was being tormented by the enemy. She had gotten involved in some pornography and it certainly opened her up. And then she called, and she was actually like Jesus prayed more than once. She kept calling the prayer line day after day and just receiving deliverance and yeah. deliverance Hallelujah. and yeah. deliverance until she's been set free. Pastor Jay, Jesus is not just a healer. He's a deliverer too. And he's a restorer, going back to your word. Yes. She's getting restored now. Yes. Now, like I told you before, this is a time that God is saying even the things that you have done wrong, you got into that credit mm -hmm. card debt, you opened up the door to pornography, you made the bad decision, but you know what? This is a time of jubilee when God is canceling the debts, when the slaves are going free. It doesn't matter what you did and what you did wrong. Right. Receive the grace of God today mm -hmm. because God is ready to bless your life. And it doesn't matter if you did wrong. Well, I'm not worthy, Pastor Jay. It's not about what you've done. That's it's right. about what, who he is, what he said he would do. And this is the time, Pastor Gary, that God is fulfilling his promises. I believe that. So call that number, 888-665-4483. Think about it. You might be one phone call one phone. away from your divine turnaround, your restoration, your breakthrough. Mm. And you know, if you are watching us today, we've got people tell us all the time how they're just going through the dial and somehow they stop and they tune in to see what we're sharing and talking about. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, Pastor Rebecca, that's really the greatest miracle of all, isn't it? The, it is. the, the, the testimony of a life that's been changed. Amen. Amen. You know, in the word of God, it says, you know, you can go to to heaven without an eye, with being sick. You could go to heaven that way, but you can't get to heaven without a relationship with Jesus Christ. So you're right, Pastor Gary, that's the greatest of all miracles, how he can take someone who is in sin, who is tarnished and stained, and can get new life and become a new creation in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus, as the Word of God says. So if you're watching and you just, maybe you did just accidentally tune in to Cornerstone Television Network, it really wasn't an accident. Amen. God Amen. purposed you to tune in right now. And we want to encourage you that if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, let him transform your life. Let him change your life. Those things that you have done in the past, when Jesus comes in, he washes them all away. Now, will you have to pay the consequences? Perhaps, but he will take care of all of the sin debt that was accounted to your life and he will take it all away and you'll have a relationship with Jesus Christ at that moment. So it doesn't take a specific prayer that you have to repeat for me. All you have to do is say, Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that you are my savior. You came into this world. You, you were born of a virgin. You died on Calvary and you rose from the grave. You bore my burden at Calvary, my sin debt at Calvary. 
morning and I accept you. I want to live for you. You be my Lord and my Savior. And at that very moment, Jesus will come in and transform your life. And then I want to encourage you that when you pray that prayer, when you ask him, please call Cornerstone Television, 888-665-4483 and let them be able to rejoice with you as we celebrate your coming into the kingdom of God because this is one of the best decisions that you will ever make in your life. Then once you make that decision and call in, get into a good church, be discipled, read your word, and let God's spirit guide and direct your life so that one day we might not meet on this earth, but we will meet in heaven. Amen. 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 Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. You know, Pastor Gary, I believe that people are watching right now that God is getting ready to do something brand new in their life. Mm -hmm. And you know, I wanna go back to something that you share about not fainting. And you mentioned about the revival that's happening. I believe that revival is a sign of fulfillment. Yeah. You mentioned about the prophecy of Bob Jones. I wanna share this just real quickly because this is, this is going somewhere. There are three things that Bob Jones said would happen in 1983, which was 40 years ago. He said that the abortion pill would be perfected which just recently happened, that the same-sex marriage act would go into manifestation, which was in December, and that Asian workers would be watching their TV unplugged from their watches. He shared all that in 83. He said, Pastor Jay, why are you saying that? Because we are in the times of the signs. We are in a time of fulfillment where things are coming into manifestation. Whether you just gave your life to Christ with Pastor Rebecca and received him into your heart, mm -hmm. the reason why God's letting you have it right now, he does not want you to miss That's the right. moment that you are in. And no matter how discouraged you've been, no matter how long you've waited, mm -hmm. this is not the signs of the times. This is the times of the signs. This is the time when everything that God has spoken, everything that you have been waiting for, it is time for Hallelujah. it right now. And so Father, I just pray over every person that is feeling discouraged, every person that is downtrodden, every person that wants to give up. And Father, I declare in the name of Jesus that they will not quit, that they will not throw in the towel, but Lord, they will press in and receive their miracle, Father. That Lord, even the revivals that are breaking up, breaking out, Father God, Lord, that you are reviving your people today. Lord, let the those revivals be signs to your people that you haven't forgotten, that every prayer will come to manifestation, that things are happening now, that this will be the beginning of the great awakening that you have in store for your people, that Pittsburgh has not been forgotten about, that the United States has not been forgotten about, and that this new generation that's coming up has not been forgotten about as well. So Father, I thank you today, and Lord, we give you praise for reviving us, reviving your people, yes. that we are not forgotten. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. Praise wow. You. Well, we're going to take Holy Communion. If you have your elements, let's get them now. Pastor Meyer, would you pray over the, the bread, the wafer, and Pastor Rebecca over the cup? Father, we thank you and we praise you for giving your one and only son to die for us. And Jesus, we thank you for being so willing, though it was so hard, to give your body to die for us. And so we remember right now what you did for us. We thank you yes, and we praise you because we didn't deserve it, but you did it. And so we thank you as we remember the torture you took, Jesus. We remember and we say thank you. Yes. Mm. All right, take your bread, your wafer, your cracker, eat of it now and be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you, Lord, and your word says that we were bought with a high price, God. And Father, we know that we were. It was your precious blood that purchased our salvation, Father. And we just thank you for the blood that you shed on Calvary that washes every one of our sins away, Father. Lord, there's no more judgment against us anymore, no more condemnation against us because we are yours. And it was all because of what you did on Calvary, giving your life and your body being depleted of the lifeblood that was in it, Father, and giving that lifeblood to us. We thank you for it and we honor you today as we take this communion together in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, take your cup and drink and be washed and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Just let healing virtue go through every part of your body and being right now. Just be healed. Be restored in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be delivered. Be delivered. Hallelujah. 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 Well, if you are blessed by programs like Move Your Mountain, you know, we have a whole lineup of programs that we produce right here in house, like Hard Questions and Sister to Sister and Origins and Today's Nashville and Dashing Dish, so, so many of them. But we cannot do them without your help, without your prayers and your partnership. I know in signs of the time. <laughs> Well, you know, speaking of that, let me just say this real quickly. Uh, we've been talking about the revival in Asbury and the different revivals that are breaking out. We have a special show coming up this Monday with Dr. James Gall that's going to be talking about that and how God is ready to move. And all of this, though, is because of your faithful support and dedication. So we couldn't do these without them, Pastor Gary. That's right. So let me give you our address. If you made a pledge during our recent uh, our a fundraiser that we had or if you would just like to pray about sowing a one-time gift or a monthly gift cornerstone television has been here for almost 43 years this april Amen. 24 hours a day seven days a week doing nothing but bringing good news the gospel of good news we've stayed true to the original vision so let me give you our address it's cornerstone Television Network, CTVN, 1 Signal Hill Drive, Wall, Pennsylvania. The zip code is 15148-1499. And we're going to thank you in advance for your prayers and your partnership. We're going to go back to Pastor Rebecca for another anointed song while we go over to the altar so we can conclude by joining our faith with yours for that miracle as she sings for us, Breathe On Me.
Oh, Pastor Rebecca, we need the Holy Spirit to breathe on all of these folks right here. Amen. We sure do. You know, Pastor Gary, as those that um, prayed with us for, the, for Jesus to come into their hearts, he doesn't leave us on our own. We're not in this world alone, but he does. He gives us the Holy Spirit to help us, to strengthen us, to guide us, to inspire us on what to pray for. The Bible says that when we don't know what to pray for, the Holy Spirit gives us utterance as to what to pray for. So though there may be needs here that we may not visually see with our eyes as we're praying, the Holy Spirit speaks to our heart and tells us exactly what we need to pray for, for your life and for our needs. And I'm thankful yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pastor Gary, there's somebody watching right now. You're watching and you have felt like God has forgotten about you. Come on. But God has not forgotten about you or your situation or the things around you, the people around you. Don't believe the enemy's lie. God has not forgotten about you. Hold on to his hand, the old song said. Come on. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. He will lift you up. He will build you up where you need to be built down. And he will tear down what needs to be torn down. Don't you give up on God because God has not given up on you. You know, Pastor Rebecca, as you were singing, I, the scripture comes to mind about uh, when they're in the valley of the dry bones. And he asked the question, <laughs> can the bones live again? Yes. You know, the Bible said that the, the valley was full of dry mm -hmm. bones. They were completely, mm -hmm. not, not that they were dry, they were very dry. That's and right. what's amazing, everything that was needed for the army was in the valley. Everything that is needed in your life, it may be dead, it may be dry, but God is supernaturally breathing upon that of which it is that's dry and dead and the spirit of resurrection is going to come alive. If you can just prophesy over the bones and speak over them, God is going to send the wind of the Holy Ghost, and that which is dead is going to come to life again. So, Holy Spirit, breathe on us today. Amen. Yes. Yes, well, as true. you can see, so, so many people have called. All of these folks just called in just now, and many of you have written to us, and if you're watching and maybe you're in a place you were not able to call, remember, we tell you there's no distance right, in the Pastor. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Just join your faith with us right now because we believe the Lord can yes. send the yes, word yes, to yes. you to heal you, to deliver you, to restore you. Right. So would you begin for us? Father, we just thank you and praise you for your presence, for your Holy Spirit that moves in our lives, God, that when we don't know what to do and we don't know what to say, God, your spirit will speak for yeah. us, God. Yeah. And Lord, I just thank you, Lord, that as those that are watching, Pastor Jay mentioned about that valley, God, of dry bones, and that there are maybe those that have been in ministry for years that are watching mm -hmm. right now, and, yeah. and they feel like they have been depleted. They have given all that they could and there's just no more. They're just dry and they need a refreshing of your Holy Spirit. Yeah. Father, I pray right now that you would move in that place where they are, yeah. God, that they yeah. would feel your presence near to them right now, God, and that you would restore, yeah. that you would bring yeah. back those dreams, yeah. back those desires yeah. that they once had but have been lost, yeah. God. I pray that you would rekindle the fire yeah. of your Holy Come Spirit on, in them once again and God, that they would be able to speak your truth, speak your word, yeah. fulfill the ministry that you have called them to Lord Jesus do it even now as we are agreeing together and God for those that are laid on this altar God these requests laid on this altar father I pray right now for those that have needs of healing those that are needing deliverance God those that are needing restoration in their families or in their relationships Lord Jesus I pray right now that you would bring it to pass father it is your desire that we have relationship it is your desire that we are healed it is your desire that we are set free and delivered and Jesus we come against any any power of the enemy that would try to plague our mind to say it's not going to happen any doubt any confusion any chain that would try to bind father your people we ask that you would break it in the name of Jesus there is no other power that can set free but you God and so father that's why we're coming to you and 
Father, we just thank you that you are doing incredible things, God, as we are binding our hearts together. We're going to hear testimonies of your greatness, of your goodness, of your healing power in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, we thank you for what you are going to do and yes. how you are going to show yourself strong. Yes, we ask you even now, Lord, to heal people yes. where they hurt. Yes, Jesus. That's heal right. them where they hurt. Yes, God. Such that they depend on you and they hold to your word and not give up and pray yes, again. Yes. yes. Praying again. Yes. And praying again. Yes, God. Lord, heal the people where they hurt. No matter where it is, where it is, what the situation is, and Father, the circumstances that only you can change, mm -hmm. we pray now that you heal people where they hurt. Thank you, Lord. And Father God, God, in the name of Jesus, we prophesy oh, to the God. wind, God. We prophesy to the wind of every dead promise, yes. every dead prophecy, Jesus. Father, you, every God. dead miracle Ooh, that Lord, seemed like there's no hope, there's no treatment, there's no cure. And Father, we thank you. You are the God that rolled the stone away. Yes, you Father, are. you are the God that in three days resurrected yourself and you are more than able to minister to every need. You are more than able to minister to every marriage, Father. Lord, I speak to marriages right now, oh, Father, God. that have yeah. completely grown dry Father God, I just thank you in the name of Jesus that Jesus. they will live and not die. Yes. Father, we speak, Father God, to every family member that is not saved, and we mm -hmm. command them to come in in the name of Jesus. We speak to every doctor's report that yeah. seem like there's no treatment, no yes. hope, no cure, and we command them to live in the name of Jesus. Every addiction, we command you to fall off Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Every <laughs> mental health disorder, we command you to go. And Father, every demonic foe, every spirit of the occult, every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of sorcery, every spirit yes. of infirmity, we bind you today in the mighty name of Jesus and declare that the blood of Jesus be against you today. And we declare in the name of Jesus that whom the Son sets free is free indeed yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes, yes, yes. You know, that there's somebody watching. You, you prayed about your situation a while ago. You've given up on it. And after hearing this message today, why don't you call and pray again? Yes, call yes, again. Yes. Call that number, 888-665-4483. I often think, what would have happened if Jesus would have only prayed once? That man would see men walking like trees. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Don't give up on what God has told you, what he's promised you. Amen. Don't give That's up right. on it. Keep holding on to that promise. You know, the world would say, we like the instant things. You know, we like the microwave stuff. And the world would say, that's what your face should be like. It should just happen instantly. No, just don't give up. Keep holding on to it. Know whom you believe. Know what he has promised you. And, and believe it and trust it and have faith. Speak that thing that God has promised promised you and say, God, I know what you said, so I'm going to believe that you're going to yeah, do it yeah. in my life. Don't give up. That's Keep it. pressing that's in. That's it. That's, mm -hmm. it. that's mm -hmm. it. I can say like, like it was said in scripture, I was young, <laughs> but now I'm old and I have never yes. seen the righteous forsaken. I have never been forsaken and I have found absolutely no fault in our God. Hold on to God and watch what he does in your life. Amen. You know, and I believe that there are people watching, some even weeping right now. As we were praying and ministering, you just begin to feel that hope. And some might even be resisting a little bit. Come but on. God's saying, let this fresh wind come upon your life because you're going to begin yes. to believe again. You're going to begin to hope again. And That's listen, it. if you can get the Spirit of God moving in your life, anything is possible to them that believe, Pastor Gary. Yeah. That's so yeah. good. Yeah. Well, we trust you were blessed and encouraged by today's Move Your Mountain. Remember, our prayer line is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You will always receive a live person that loves God and that cares and loves you that will pray and agree with you. So stay encouraged and get out into church this week. Get hungry for the things of the Lord. The Lord is moving 
Let him move in your life. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine and smile upon you and grant you his peace. Shalom, shalom. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jeffrey was suicidal when he first called our 24-7 prayer line. Paralyzed from a surgical error, he felt hopeless. Our prayer partner, Clayton, was able to minister to Jeffrey for the next three years by listening, praying, and speaking God's word. Jeffrey died a couple days before Christmas, a changed man. He was happy and kind, and he shared the love of Jesus with those around him. He said he never would have known Jesus so deeply if he had never been paralyzed. Praise God for saving Jeffrey's life through our 24-7 prayer line. When you give, your faith and generosity stir up miracles. This month, when you give, we'll send you 30 days to taming the tongue. Let us speak words of love and see lives transformed. To request yours, give online at ctvn.org slash donate or call us at 888-665-4483. Hope happens here.